I'll say this, the way the way I'm viewing it from what I saw, uh, Brother Rob Bourne, he's very, very uh, exact in his argument. You know, um, the question itself makes the argument difficult, in my opinion. He did a very good job uh, making it clear what his question was from what I saw. But I don't know what I missed with that 30 minutes or so. And then with Zion, Zion's, Zion has a debate technique mm-hmm. that uh, is better. And I think that with Rob Bourne, it's going to come with with time. You know, you get more refined with what you're doing. So, I mean, and that's not to take away from from Zion, because when Zion is breaking down the Hebrew and Son and Kofa and, you know, it's, it's just certain stuff that Zion do in the middle of, of the debate that whether you agree with the information or not, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta find a way to rebut this brother in the interim of the stuff he's saying while saying, yo, listen, like to reassert what you feel this whole thing is about, or if he deviating, because Zion, he, he, he go off and go so hard into information that he's saying is true. You get caught up in, in this world. Hold up, Dr. Reggie. Reggie. You ain't got to call no more. I'm going to get you next, my brother. I got you, Reggie. Yeah. Just let me finish with Polite. No doubt. So Zion, it gets you caught up in a whirlwind of information. And once you start biting on that shit, you will wind up being guilty of deviating, which now that information is on the table as well. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, mm-hmm. you know, sometimes you, you might have to you might have to just uh, put a cap on that. And I understand y'all didn't, it don't look like you really had like, 10 minutes here, you do 10 minutes here and everything. Right. Get it. So I those, will have a um a clock up next time, Friday. No doubt. So that's a different type of debate. And those type of debates is almost like a street fight. And I, I understand what you're saying, Rob Boyle. Like you keep it respectful. You want a person to get all the information out. And rightfully so. That's 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 a gentleman. And I'm not disrespecting him. When you when we doing those kind of debates. The gentlemen don't win those kind of debates because that's more <laughs> right, like a right. speech. <laughs> you know saying is, if I objectively look at the debate, there's other factors to the debate, and if you don't make, go out your way to yo make it clear, yo fam, yo all that breaking down, saying Kofi, yo that shit can throw people off when you're watching the debate and him breaking it down, and you be like, yo, yo, I don't, I don't know what it means, or I know what it is, but I forgot when you're doing all of that. That shit is that shit start confusing the the audience about who's winning the subject matter. So as yeah. far as the subject matter is concerned, Rob Bourne, I agree with you. I I like your stance. I, I love your stance, and I love the thing you said in regards to your stance. But because of the nature and style of this particular debate, when Zion is th- he's throwing haymakers. Yo, this word means this. This word means that. Oh, you don't know what that is, and you entertaining it, and you building with him. Then how can we disregard what he's talking about? You can't then turn around and say Zion was off off topic. You said it about once or so. From what I saw, I gotta watch the whole thing. But if Zion is throwing all these different shots, you gotta parry some of them shits, or you gotta divert people's attention back to what you're talking about. Second of all, back. shout out to brother for life for being so honest, polite. Said very clearly, I don't necessarily agree with Zion's stance. I agree with Rob Bourne's stance, but I think Zion did a little better of a job in performing, which leads me to what I want to say. Most people get it twisted when they come to debates. Debates is akin to being in a courtroom. When you go in a courtroom, a court of law, when two lawyers face off the prosecution and the defense, it's not about who's right. It's who can prove that which is right. That's right. If we, have, if we need to add theatrics, that's what we do. Everybody knows one of the main reasons why OJ won is because Donald Cochran put on that glove and said, if the glove don't fit, we must acquit. That's theatrics. And what Polite is saying, I get. I brought more energy. But what Polite is also saying he don't necessarily agree with what I brought. And I'm not offended by that. You know why? I'm a true debater. All of that. Peace and black power. Dr. Reggie in the building. What's up, man? All right, all right. Peace. Okay, so... Uh, Reggie, DX up, nigga. Uptown up. DX up was good. <laughs> Who's that? Who's that? That's Rob Boyne, man. DX Uptown. <laughs> What's up? 
All right, peace, peace, Rob on. So, Rob on. This is your first uh, conversation, your first major conversation on the on the big screen, right? <laughs> no, that's not my first one. It's not it's, my first one. No, it's but on the big screen. Zion a debate. He's talking yeah. about your first debate going up against a contender. That's what he's saying. Like oh, going up okay, against somebody. Okay. Right. So, um, like I said in the chat, right, um, it's easy to have them on the ropes, right? So the topic was the origins of black Hebrew Israelites in America, right? Uh, that was the topic. And, of course, all you had to do was stay on the topic. That's all you had to do. Just talk about that. That's right? all you had to and do, Rod. Right. That's all you had to do. Now, this Equiano stuff, right, that was off topic. And that was a trap, right? Right. right. That was a trap. And then you had to recover from the trap. And you got back up on your feet. But the topic was the origins of Black Hebrew Israelites in, in America. But you did your information, like Polite said. Polite said your information is on point, right? Zion Lex, Zion Lex has debated this almost all. So he knows, he 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 actually knows where the sweet spots are, right? So Zion Lex was able to get up and throw a couple of jabs, real fast flurries. Now there is some problems with the um, people from the brothers from the NBK and from my brother Garfield. Here's the issue. When I was at the museum with Brother Zion Lex, he had a group and I had a group, right? And we shared some time and I let him teach. And when he came to the point of Sankofa, I don't know Hebrew. So he read it from the Hebrew vantage point, right? He read it from the Hebrew vantage point. All I can just do is listen because I did not know, right? And accept what he was saying from the Hebrew vantage point. Go ahead, man. Um, hey, let me say this. It was, a, it was a good dialogue. I learned a lot from both sides. Um, I learned that Sankofa is a Hebrew word. And I still have not got around in, um, I've not gotten around in condemnation from Reggie. I'm not, I'm not happy with his response. What do you think comments. about the I'm overall not, debate I, with um, Zion? How do you think he did? Let's keep it real. How did Zion do? I think Zion. I think Zion is a master of commanding the conversation. <laughs> he is. I, I gotta give it to him. Right. He, what he does, he, he said, he he'll give he'll give the brother back the mic, and then he'll say, um, what what do you mean by that? And then Rob on give him back the mic. I'm like, why is he giving him the mic? I'm like, I'm like, because I told you, Rob on is trying to be nice. You can't be nice in this battle, bro. Come on, man. Yo, it, 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 the issue, the issue, the issue is this: you gotta give that to Zion. Lex. He knows how to cut you, and he know he got the debating skills. He do, he do. Polite is right about that. Anyway, besides besides that, tonight tonight's discussion is very good. I liked it. Two powerful brothers who were building, who have have a temperament to get aggressive, didn't show any form of aggression. And um, what what you gotta be careful when you're debating Zion too, because he'll throw some words and jabs. And you don't think it's a job, but when the people are watching, like, damn, he made him get away with that. 